All right. Hey, I am joined this morning. I don't know. Hey, I'm joined with Dave by Dave Sponicky from Reunion Marketing. Dave, thanks for for joining me. Yeah, Tim, great to great to see you as always. Yeah. Hey, so uh, Dave and I have been longtime friends uh, in the car business. I've probably known you close to ten years now. Why don't you just you know tell us a little bit about you, who you are, what you do, who you work for, and we'll get going. Sure. Yeah, it goes back a while, right? Uh, you know, I was I was the marketing director for uh, the Leaf Automotive Group back uh, when Tim and I first met, and we brought Max into uh, in, into the organization and, and learned a lot from them. And then uh, six and a half years ago, I started reunion marketing with a couple of folks uh, that did a lot of great things over at uh, at Leaf. We increased the the lead volume by four hundred percent. Did a lot of cool things, and uh, and then reunited, which is why it's reunion marketing. We reunited to start the reunion. We work with about three hundred dealerships across the country now and growing. Yeah, so um, just a tremendous story for automotive, Dave. I really applaud you. Um, so this the discussion I'd like to just have with you this morning is uh, about what we learned in the car business here. You know, in the in the, at the end of summer of 2021, it's been kind of crazy. In a couple of words, maybe you know, a couple of lines. How would you describe, from a digital perspective, I think that's your area of expertise, the state of the car business today? Uh, from a digital perspective, perspective, I'd, I'd say, I mean, the, some folks are are on top of what what's happening. The change is happening more quickly than I've ever seen it. You know, and I've been in, in automotive marketing for 17 years now, um, but. Asleep, I think, is is kind of the current state, just because the inventory is not creating the same uh, same need or immediate f feeling that you, we would need to go see all these changes. Uh, but but the shift because of privacy policy and consumer expectations with the pandemic and and how much has changed uh, has created an environment where I don't know how many dealerships are on top of all these uh, opportunities to, to you know, get in front of uh, customers with inventory and, and at a cheaper, much more, much more cost-effective way that's, that's gonna allow them to navigate through the new landscape that the privacy policy is changing for us. So, so that was interesting what you led off with. You feel like um, uh, because of the lack of inventory, the, um, there's not a sense of urgency to turn inventory quickly. Grosses are up, right? It's, it's no, you know, that's no secret. So it's just a lot of, hey, I can just kind of set it and forget it and drive record sales, gross. That, that's kind of, that's a great observation. Is that, that's kind of what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, I, don't, I wouldn't blame anyone for that either. I mean, it's, no. uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just what the environment is. But what I think a lot of people don't realize is that a lot has changed uh, yeah. so, you know, over the period of the pandemic when, when this has become the situation. Yeah. All right. So one of the things that, um, I think became super hot this past year um, is the this idea that this this strategy from Google that they uh, introduced um, inventory feeds to Google My Business for dealers. What 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 can you tell you know kind of summarize what that is and maybe how important that should be? Maybe that's one of those things dealers should be looking at today as a way to like you know keep things moving forward. No, absolutely. I mean, and, and you know, just to maybe shape the the, the narrative here, or at least you know how, how how we're looking at it is that Google is creating, you know, on Google My Business. Google My Business has been a hot topic for you know the last couple of years, but but they keep adding new features and additions. It's become like almost a a micro website. I mean, they're adding all sorts of functionalities to it to to you know create an environment on it that you're getting this a, a an abridged uh, website experience you know they have parts pages and service pages now they have the inventory on there and and this goes back to what i was saying earlier about the the shift in in consumer behavior and what google wants because of the changing in privacy policy so what google wants is they want more activity to happen within the google's ecosystem just like facebook does people see all the facebook ads that click on a car and you stay on facebook and have that experience google wants to create the same thing because the more people stay on google you know, on YouTube, on on the maps, all the different experiences, and they're doing their shopping within Google, then they can continue to use that data to audience target and deliver better results. But when we're driving people all over the place, Google really doesn't want to do that. So, you know, it's no surprise that they brought inventory to Google My Business as part of that experience, you know, with the parts pages and service pages and body shop pages and all the new attributes and categories and FAQs. They keep building Google My Business out to be a much more robust experience to you know, give one more information, but then two, keep shopping within Google 
so that Google can have a better understanding of what consumers are doing. Hmm. So that's interesting, that way you put that. Um, kind of comparing Google experience to Facebook experience. Now, dealers, I think, can um, really relate to, you know, hey, Facebook is a place where I can engage my my potential shoppers, my, my past and current customers or future customers um, from a social perspective. And the longer I can get them, more times they can get them to come back, you know, the more often I can hook them. But we're saying from, the, from a Google's perspective, it's not really a social aspect. It's more of a shopping and information experience and how mu how mu how long can we keep customers there you think that's the value that's the things that google's trying to work on yeah oh, and, and really i think facebook's trying to work on that in the same way you know okay. it's 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 you know facebook ads used to be a great opportunity to take audiences you know from your website and then build them there but we're losing all of that that audience data with the the privacy policy changes the ios 14.5 has made it a lot more difficult to uh, you know guess all the different apps you go on now will, um, you know, allow you to opt in to have you, yourself be tracked across websites. And it's like 95, 96% of people are saying, no, thank you. So, so because of that, you know, both Google and Facebook having one, all the, the, the assets within the, the digital ecosystem, they are seeing that they knew that was coming. So they're trying to create an experience uh, to, to have more shopping happen within their platform so they can keep more, more data, which I mean, allows them really to deliver a better product too. I mean, this is something that they're doing. That's, that's a negative thing for delivering for dealers. I mean, the, the more that we can keep people within these different environments, you know, we still want to care about our website. Obviously, we, you know, websites are hugely important. It's just now there's also these additional important pieces and GMB is, is definitely one to be all over just at the same level as your website. All right. So I'm a dealer. I either, I'm, I'm not currently, you know, paying too much attention to my Google, my business page, or I just did. What are some key, th like top two or three things that a, a dealer should definitely be doing to make sure they're getting the most out of Google, my business? What would you say? Yeah. I mean, you know, first and foremost, make sure that you have your, your parts pages, your service pages, your body shop pages all nested within your primary listing. You know, that allows you, we've, we've seen like an 800% uptick in, mm -hmm. in phone calls that are service related, parts related. When we have these additional pieces, you can go through more categories, you know, know, know the categories, know all the attributes that are out there. I mean, attributes continue to change as, you know, the COVID environment changes, you know, the, there's a political environment and all these different things moving where attributes are changing. Uh, and then just make sure that you're optimized across the things that matter, you know, be optimized across, you know, regularly check your photos. You got different options for exterior, interior and, and videos and then all these different pieces. And, you know, show, I mean, show yourself off as being bigger with with FAQs that answer people's questions. Don't don't let uh, the local guides answer your questions. Be the one answering questions and, and reviews, obviously, hugely important, you know, but, but you can you can really build out a great profile with having your products in there and then having your posts. And of course, now. Uh, you know, the inventory is available and, and obviously, you know, Max, Max knows being a, uh, a, a inventory provider and, and a partner that, that allows the cars for sale feed to go out there. Um, it, it's creating an experience that's one easy and two robust so that people can find what they're looking for. And, you know, when you do that, it, it, it is almost a near certainty you're going to see an increase in the things that matter the most to dealerships. And that's getting people on the phone and and you know, getting people directions when they're on their phone to where's the, the closest dealership to me and getting them there. So I mean, store visits and, and phone calls, all those kind of things increase significantly when you build out a robust plan that, that features you know, you, more people are looking at and, and seeing your Google My Business and even your website today. So great tip. I think uh, you're right on. Build, make your, you said make yourself bigger than maybe you are. I like that a lot um, by filling it out, making yourself robust, FAQs, photos. I love it. A lot of people get uh, dealers get real tangled up in their their ratings, their um, reviews. What would you say to a guy who's all, you know, worried or or concerned about having a high Google score? Is that what I mean, it, it's it's a it's a high correlation between okay. you know your Google score and and the the KPIs that matter. You know, the, okay. the people reaching out. So I mean, I'd say I'd say you should be worried about it. I think most dealerships have a pretty good handle on their primary page listing. Um, yeah, I was actually talking to uh, a mutual uh, a friend, uh, you know, lives in Chicago up there, uh, Denise, uh, Denise Chuddy, and you know, mutual friend of Max and everything who, who works at Frandemic now. And we're just looking through some of the data uh, that's out there. I mean, the parts pages, the service pages, you know, those other pages. I mean, most dealerships have, you know, one or two, three reviews. They're, they're completely organic. It's not part of their strategy. So I think, 
you know, while most dealerships have a pretty good, a pretty good strategy for the primary page, they're not, they're not really leveraging that strategy across all the assets. And yeah. I think it was, uh, who was, I think George Nanny, uh, recently, you know, was talking about his 2020 role about having 20 photos and, and, and uh, I think 20 reviews or whatever. And just, just, I mean, just guaranteeing that that's the, the case on all your parts pages and service pages and just how much, how much that helps uh, take off, you know, the visibility for those different, uh, you know, sub pages, basically. Man, sounds like a lot of work, Dave. I know you guys at Reunion Marketing help dealers, you know, manage this beast of what it, you know, Google to, you know, drive traffic and be relevant. Just may, how can guys get a hold of you? I mean, is it maybe give a just a quick synopsis of you know the services you guys provide if somebody wants to get a hold of you? Sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and we, we offer a variety of different services, you know, the, the SEO that allows GMB on the website, all these different pieces of social we talked about before, PPC, all, yeah. you know, the, the, the whole digital world. And I mean, just re reach out to me at Dave at reunionmarketing.com is an yeah. easy way, I, you know, to check that, you know, a couple of times a day. I mean, or, you know, feel free to, to just call my cell directly. I mean, that's something that, that all of our customers have. And that's 919-259-4614. Nice. I love it when guys put their cell phones out there. Don't be scared. <laughs> Hey, Dave, man, you're uh, an expert in this and uh, all, a lot of things digital, not just auto. We've kind of talked about that, too. But I really appreciate you taking your time out today um, and, and talking about Google My Business and all things Google for dealers. That's yeah, something that they need to be. Uh, I think it's a good time to like, you know, while things are happening, you know, maybe going really well, you know, maybe it's time to look at the, that part of your roof and, and do some repairs because, you know, if things will eventually come back, it'd be nice to be be on top of this be well positioned yeah i mean it's you know early 2022 we're all we're all looking at that, at that as being all right we're coming back we're getting back i mean yeah. definitely by mid 20, 2022 i think we'll be in a, in a much better spot so those that are on top of it now certainly are going to have a leg up on those that aren't cool hey dave thank you so much for your time okay hey, great seeing you as always tim all right